Kagonge Bakaka. Amen. Appreciate the man of God. Ni wa appreciate Amokai. Appreciate the man of God. Amen. Appreciate Jesus for being faithful, for preserving us. I say appreciate the King of Kings. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Appreciate yourself for coming. Appreciate yourself for coming. Appreciate your neighbor for coming. Somebody on the keys. Amen. Then tell them you're looking good. Hata kama make a crash. Mambia you're looking good. You're looking fine. Eh, kuna kademu na tamani ngi kuangelesha saindi na kambi you looking good. Pastor msema, amen. <laughs> so mambia you looking good, amen. Mambia jirani, toa sura ya kazi. Mambia kuoko kasi kuboeka, amen. My name is Kibali. I'm born again. I love Jesus as my personal savior. He has been good to me. He has preserved me. He has blessed me with a family, married to one wife. And two children, amen. A boy and a girl, King, na Adalia, and we give God all the glory, amen. I feel good when young people are getting married. Meski announcement, Yakesho, please support them. What you saw now, you shall reap. It's now they need you. One day you will need people, amen. Amen. So tomorrow come, participate, and be a blessing to them. Also, those who did not come for the group, group what? family teams last week kindly join any team it becomes more effective when you become a member of a team or when you are serving in a place in church amen so join a team is it it, it is a team that makes a dream work make sure that you are participating in the kingdom make sure you're doing something in the church when you become heavenly useful god makes sure that you are also earthly useful when you meet God's demand or kingdom demand, also God meets your earthly demands. So the biggest investment you can ever invest is to serve in church. Because it is not in vain and one day you shall be rewarded for what you have done. Amen. You see, serving God, you pay to serve God. You sacrifice to serve God. But when it comes to men, you serve them, they pay you. But the best thing about God, when you are paying to serve him, when you are sacrificing your time to come and watch the church, when you are sacrificing your time to come and participate in the praise and worship practices, you are investing. Hallelujah. And the best thing about the investment in the kingdom is that what you do now, you are investing in heavenly banks. And one of these days you shall be downloading or getting what you invested that time so please participate in church amen lift up your hands to him and tell him father speak to me let anything that will hinder your move in my life be uprooted in the mighty name of jesus Setela Zepegete Vezilinanta La Brada Bazia Mekato Sata Lebrecato Zevegete Beza Mende Lebreco Sata La Bagazi Zevente Lebreco Ziziana Bagata Anything that may hinder your move in my life, Lord, I approach it in the name of Jesus. Zegete Belevo no no Sata La Bragazaza Zevenda. I pray for my sister and my brother tonight that God you are visiting them in the mighty way. Elebrehesia me bato satala gradizera asote perenda me bato satelebregasize vete kelebretesia that you are meeting her tonight, that you are meeting him tonight, that you are wiping away her tears, you are wiping away his tears. Let the begete de dizeveke ne mahande basizia. Lift up your voice to him and tell him, Father, tonight speak to me. Lift up your voice to him and tell him, Father, speak to me. Oh, Jesus. 
Sija ona kama wewe Una nguvu namna hii 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 Sija ona Sija ona kama wewe Una nguvu namna hii Sija ona kama wewe Una Una nguvu namna hii Sija ona Sija ona kama wewe Una nguvu namna hii Sija ona kama wewe Una Appreciate Jesus as you have your seat. Amen. Amen. Thank you for coming tonight. Thank you for being in the presence of God tonight. It is not in vain. Amen. Hallelujah. It is not in vain you being in this place. 
Many other people who are busy now queuing to enter in clubs to have some good time in partying tonight. But you have chosen to be in the presence of God. Many other people who are in hospitals, many other people who are busy now doing what they are doing, but you have chosen to be here. You could have been outside there doing something, but you have chosen to be in the presence of God. May God bless you and may he reward you in Jesus' name. Tonight I'm talking about faith and I'm going to be brief because of time. And uh, this week God has been speaking to me about faith. And most of us, we are where we are today because of faith. We have conquered what we have conquered because of faith. We have said yes to the calling of God because of faith. And some of us, we are where we are tonight because we don't have faith. Some of us, we have the shaken faith. Some of us... We don't understand what is faith. Some of us, all we need to go to the next level, all we need to go to the next dimension is a little faith. And, and faith is one of the things that I've seen working. <clears throat> faith is one of the things I've seen that I can work with it all over, anywhere that I can go in this world. Last month, by the grace of God, I went to minister in Kampala. And one of the things I realized, the 3,000 that I was having in my pocket, when I reached at the border, I saw some few men who were coming with money and they were saying, change, change, change. Meaning they were telling me that you need to change this currency so that you can be able to buy or to get some things in Uganda. And what I realized is that when I gave them 1,000, they gave me 30,000. So when I gave them 3,000, they gave me 90,000. And I realized something. When I was going to buy something in Kampala, I could not use our currency. All I needed is to exchange the money and use their currency to be able to purchase anything that I wanted or to pay for the services that I got in that place. And what God spoke to me during that time is that faith is the only currency that you can be able to use all over or in any place that you can go. Faith is the only currency that allows you to use or faith is the only currency that you can use all over or in any place that you can go in this world. You can use faith in China. You can use faith in India. You can use faith in Kenya. You can use faith in any place that you go. And faith is all we need. Faith is what we need. The Bible say... Uh, 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 <coughs> Even though your faith is small as mustard seed, you can be able to move mountains. And most of us, all we need is to have faith. All we need is to have this currency that is called faith. Because the Bible says that faith, uh, we don't walk by sight, but we walk by faith. And the Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Meaning that the faith that we can have or the faith that you have can only grow when you hear the word of God. The Bible says twice, faith comes by hearing and says hearing. Hearing the word of God, meaning that when you hear it, it needs to sink in you. It, need, it needs to get a place in your heart so that it can be able to make you grow and become a better person. Also, when your faith is growing, you can be able to reach in a place that where other people have not, have not reached. Faith is a currency that all we need. Faith is what we need as young as we are. You can be young and still have faith. You can be young and still carry faith. You can be young and still talk about faith. Praise Jesus. Talk to me. Praise Jesus. Hebrew chapter 11 verse 1. Hebrew chapter 11 verse 1. The Bible say, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Faith, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. And, and, and what I realized, uh, those who are writing notes, is that faith directs your attention to the resistance of evil. Faith directs your attention to the, re to the resistance of evil and, and the cultivation of good if you allow it. Faith directs your attention to the resistance of evil and the 
cultivation of good if you allow it. Meaning when you have faith, faith can help you to say no to sin. Faith can make you become more sensitive not to do things of the world. Faith can make you become more sensitive to the ways of God. Faith can make you understand the timings and the seasons of God. Faith can make you see things that normal people are not seeing. And I realized that uh, faith, it is, it, is, uh, 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 it is the sole eye Faith, it is the sole eye, and by it, we can see what the natural eye cannot see. Faith is the sole eye that can see what the physical eye cannot see. Remember we said that faith, uh, we, we don't walk by sight, but we walk by faith. And meaning, if you have faith, the faith becomes a soul, comes, uh, becomes an eye that can see what the natural eye cannot see. Faith becomes an hand, becomes a, a, a faith becomes a hand that can be able to reach what the natural hand cannot, cannot reach. Faith becomes a, 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 a speed that can be able to make you reach where you're supposed to be, which you are in your natural being, you cannot be, you cannot be able to go at such a speed. And all we need now is faith. Because faith will make you see things that others cannot see. Faith will make your inner eye see what the natural eye cannot see. And I've seen faith working in me. I have seen great things happening in my life because of faith. I thank God because Kumenyesha so always talk at your service. Amen. And faith will make you make the right decisions. Last time we said that life is a compilation of the choices that we make. That you are who you are today because of the choices you made yesterday. And when the benefits of having faith is that faith will make you make the right decisions. Faith will make you say no. We help you say no to sin. Faith will make you see things in another realm. Because when they are seeing 10 minutes of leisure, faith makes you see where they are not seeing. And you will see the results of the choice that you will make now. You will see the results that will come, they are not okay. The results that will come will cost you more. The results that will come will make you remain small in life. And all we need as young as we are is faith. Somebody, somebody say faith. And after I realized that, Nilikam could realize there are things that are enemies in our lives or enemies of our lives. And I realized faith cannot work when these things are affecting us in our lives. Number one, I realized when you have fear, faith will not work. So number one enemy of life is fear. And fear prevents you from seizing the opportunities. Faith makes you not get some of the opportunities. Fear makes you not accomplish things that you are supposed to be accomplishing in life. Number two is ignorance. Which prevents you from making good decisions. And these are the things that will affect your life. Number three is envy. Which will prevent you from seeing clearly. The other one is ego, which will prevent you from learning from others. Because when you have ego, you will never see good things in other people. When you have ego, you will never be corrected. When you have ego, you will never go to another level. When you have ego, you will never see greatness in other people. The other one is doubt, which doubt prevents you from believing in yourself and also prevents you from taking risks. This life is all about risks. The other one is hate. God hates people who hate people. Number eight is unforgiveness. If you carry unforgiveness, faith will never work in your life. 
Lying. Lying prevents the Holy Spirit to work in your life. Lying makes your faith shakeable. Lying makes your faith not to be strong or to help you to become the currency that you have to use during that time. The last one is pride. And I, I thank God because the man of God the other day was saying that the six deadly sins that God hates. And he said something powerful which I captured. And he said one of the sins that God hates is immorality. Sin number one that God hates is immorality. And this sin also will affect your walk with God. And which when your walk with God is affected, then your faith will not become an effective currency that you will use during the time that you want to use. Number two, uh, he said that the sin of love of money and material things. When you love money, when you love material things, it shifts your focus from God and becomes, and your focus goes also to the things of the world. Let me tell you, money is not bad. Money is not bad, but the love of money is evil. You see, money will, uh, will amplify who you are. Money will amplify your character. If I saw another man who won uh, one million, this is a jackpot. Now, after Halloween, after one month, my nizake zilikatika zikanguka huko ndani. Ni langsa mani maini na chomeka gana pombe. Liver. After one month, alikuwa mekunyo 700,000. Meaning, when he won the money, and another person, undakuta ali win one million, aliendaka invest, aliendaka kuwa blessing to people. These two people, walipata the same amount, but it will amplify who they are. If wewe umeja last, ukipata iyo do, ile last umekuwa nayo, njo utenda kuwa nayo. Usayo na mse mepata salari yake ya kwanza, but vitu alibai ni mungaro, manguo. The first time alipata salari yake, kitu flani, ile kitu wamekuwa kilastia, ndi wanaendanga kufanya. And one of the things God anachukia ni, materi, ni watu wanapenda do, na material things. Praise Jesus. The other one is the sin of witchcraft. One of the things that God anachukia ni witchcraft. Na witchcraft si kuenda tu kwa ule mse. Si kuenda kwa ule witch pale mta. Witchcraft ni kuombea mwenzako mabaya. Witchcraft ni kuona dema na imbafiti. But wona dhani omeiva kumliko. Yoni witchcraft. Witchcraft ni wenye utaki wengine mazuri. Witchcraft ni venye unona mse na prosper. But unongia vibaya kumusu. And one of the things God pia na chukia ni witchcraft. Because tukona wase wengi wana speaking tongues but ni mawitch. Tukona wase wengi wana serve in church but ni mawitch. Na script inasema, inasema suffer not a witch to live. So one of the things that God pia na chukia ni witchcraft. The other one is the sin of pride. Na self-confidence kujitambua. What a God that could define. God anachukia watu wakiburi. The other one, sin of competition na comparison. Anachukia watu wanajilinganisha. Anachukia watu wenye wana compete. Kwa vitu za mungu, hatu kujange kukompete. Tunakuja kuwa complement each other. Kwa kingdom, hakunanga competition. Kila mse, God amekuita kwa line yako. That's why tukona fivefold ministry, tukona apostle, tukona prophet, tukona evangelist, tukona, teach, tukona pastor, na tukona teacher. Apostle inakuangai kidole, ndia naiza kukorrect doctrine, anaiza ingia kwa any office. Prophet inakuangai kidole, jua nakuangaki kuambia you shall, you shall, the prophetic finger. Kidole hii refu, muna itanga kidole chakati, kwa kingdom inaitango evangelist. The reason why ni refu ni kwa sababu evangelist wanenanga kila place waki preach. So he ina kuanga ni evangelist. The other one, he, yenye ne kangwa ring, ni pasta. Ushai jua kwa nini watu we kwa ring kwa iki dole? Ushai jua? Kwa sababu veins. Iki dole ukivunjwa wama ikatwe, uneza bleed hadi ukufe. Kwa sababu iko the side ya heart. So pasta na kwa game kwa kwa iki dole ya mare, jenye me kwa ring. Ushai yona mdema na pata ball kwa church. Na pasta na muembresa na sema you are my daughter. 
we will walk with you pastor ni mse mwenye hata umes bado atakuhold hata umbetray atakombet as well you betrayed me but i choose to forgive you na from there unaendelea ku serve kwa church that's why wana kwa gome kwa hiki dole na pastors are so special people and these are the people you should pray for police ya kiamka asubuhi anaingia kwa station saa mbili ama saa moja na amelipwa salari yake end month ndio asikie tu bad report huyo msana mkanga na va uniform akijua anaenda kusikia bad report the whole day akiingia hapo anasikia huyu ameibiwa huyu ameshutiwa uwezi ameibiwa gari imeshikwa bila insurance nini imepatikana analipagwa kusikia bad news but pastor amepewa position na amekuwa ordained kusikia both bad news na good news the same time asubuhi amekuja kwa service testimony zimetolewa uh, goda nilikuja hapa siku na kazi Mungu amenipatia kazi nilikuja hapa siku na gari sasa ndio tunaenda ku dedicate gari ya mmoja wetu pale nje after service after kusema the grace anapigiwa simu hello pastor mtoto wangu amekufa mood yake ilikuwa juu alikuwa happy anaona goda na move kwa chachi yake the next minute anapigiwa mtoto wa mama nani amekufa mood yake inarudi chini after two amesikia bad news anapigiwa simu na ule son wake yako US wa spiritual son anambia hi papa thank you so much that you prayed for me na Mungu ameopen door nimekutumia 1 million kwa account sasa yeye alikuwa broken amepigiwa simu mtoto amekufa tena anasikia amerudi poa yeye amerushiwa kwa 1 million after kidogo anapigiwa simu burial itakuwa on tuesday anafaa kuwa nazika mtu you see job ya pasina kuanga ingine serious hakuna time unakuwa gastebo that's why you should pray for them praise jesus so he inakuwa pasi then the last one the small one inakuanga teacher whereby ana breaking that word to simplicity so that you can be able to understand the word of god in an easy way praise jesus so after you understand the fivefold after you understand that we are not here to compete we are not here for competition we are here to complement each other if she sings well then next time nita sharpen my skills so that i can sing well also when he is good at drums i can perfect my skills so that i can play the next time you you are here to complement each other we are here to work with each other so that we can become great you see this hand if these two fingers are not there i cannot be able to hold some things i cannot be able to do some things but because i have the five fingers i can be able to hold the mic i can be able to do things when we are together when we are a group when we are working together in the body of christ then we can be able to reach more people reach more souls and be effective in the kingdom of god praise jesus moku gai many the other one that god hates is the sin of imbalance the sin of imbalance not communicating the whole counsel of god he does not like that lazima kwa mtu ako balanced he hates to be imbalanced mtu mwenye ako imbalanced we need to be balanced people praise jesus bwana yesu asifiwe and 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 when we master this when we master the things that are affecting our walk with god when we master that these are the things when you check yourself and see that he lying he witchcraft he pride he love of material things and money ndio imefanya nisikue na strong faith ndio imefanya faith yangu isikoe na grow when you realize that these are the areas that are, are, are more affected then you begin to work on it you begin to pray burn by repentance when you repent to god you tell god father this is the thing that has been affecting me this are, this is the thing that has made me not put my whole trust in you god i pray that you may forgive me i'm sure and i know and i know that he is in a position to remove what is bothering you to remove what he did not plant in your life so that he can take throne of your heart and the moment he takes throne of your heart then everything that concerns you begins to prosper because the bible said that the will of the father is for us to prosper now if his his will for us is to prosper what are the things that we are supposed to do for the will of god to be activated and to be alive in our lives one is by 
walking by faith. And faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Praise Jesus. And today I just came to talk to us and tell you that all you need to go to the next level is faith. For our eyes to be able to see the supernatural, for our ears to be able to hear the supernatural, we need to be men of faith. We need to be women of faith. The Bible says, and the violence shall take it by force. It is not how aggressive you are in prayer. It is not how violent you are when you are praying. It is when you are violent in faith. It is when you are tough in faith. It is when you are carrying faith that can move mountains. It is when you are having faith and you see things happening. Praise Jesus. Let me tell you the truth. One of the things that happened in Kampala, we, I went with my wife. And, 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 and that meeting, there was a blind girl and there was a deaf man, old man. And then the other one, alikuwa na ishu ya kukojoa. So alikuwa mekiwa ile pipes na kukojoa na yo pipes. Juna itagwaje. And when I begin to preach and we started praying, the deaf, uyo mze, for 36 years, hajaisikia kutoka zaliwe. Masikio yake ilifunguka that night. What happened is the gifting being activated by faith. If faith young will go on a doubt, hakuna kitu inge happen. If alikuwa mtu hana faith, then hakuna miracle inge happen kwa life yake. So all we need ni kukuwa na faith. And let me tell you the truth. Your job una believe your God, activate faith. Your marriage una believe your God, activate faith. His or dimensions una believe your God in ministry, activate your faith. Work on your faith. Study the word of God so that your faith can grow. Najwa, most of us worshippers, una desire time to come worship. Na uone mse alikuwa na stress zimeisha. Mse alikuwa na crutches ametoka kiwa na tembea when you are worshipping. Easy vitu, sisa watu waze, pia sisi tuneza do easy vitu. All we need ni kukuwa na faith. That God, as I go to minister in that altar, God, as I say you are alpha, touch a life. When I say you are alpha, touch a son. Touch a mom, touch a father. When I play that instrument, touch a soul. And after that service, mtu atasema, I don't know how it happened, but nilikuja nikiwa na mzigo, but after service, nimeenda home nikiwa fiti. Easy vitu, atuta ngojea pasia kama ombe watu. Watch hata sisi, ukikuwa asha pale, ukikuwa kwa cameras, ukikuwa kwa ile mlango, mtu wakiingia, akusmailie, akushike tu mkono, akusalime tu na mkono, ana receive healing yake. Amen. So what we need to do is to cultivate. Watch to work here in faith. Watch to work here in faith. The violent shall take it by force. Only men of faith, only people of faith will be able to take what belongs to us. And some of us, a lot of blessings is meatiliwa. But the key to get the blessing is only faith. Some of us, the things you have been believing God for, zimesha realize but can you go down and go there to watch it in faith? And tonight I pray that Lord, at I ignite our hearts, that we shall hunger for Him, that we shall hunger for the things of God, that we shall hunger to hear Him, to study the Word, to walk, to serve Him in church, so that we can be able to be rewarded. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, just close your eyes and tell God, Father, tonight. I want to become a man of faith. I want to become a woman of faith. I've been doubting. I've been carrying pride. I've been a witch. I've been living an imbalanced life. And you have said that faith is a sole eye that enables me to see what my natural eye cannot see. And you have said that faith is a soul that becomes a hand that can be able to reach what the natural hand cannot reach. That dear, pray the Lord, may you uproot anything that is not of you in my heart. Uproot anything that is not of you, anything that hinders you, hinders your move in my life. Daddy, I pray the Lord, may I uproot it now. Uproot it, Jehovah. Uproot it, O oh God. We want to become people of faith. We want to be men and women of faith. We want to access the realms by faith. We want to get access 
of the things that you have stored for us by faith. Father, I pray the Lord help us to become people of faith. And wherever you are, just stand up and lift up your hands to him. Just lift up your hands to him wherever you are. Just stand up and tell him, Father, I want to be a man of faith. You know to me, Konoya, Komombia, Baba, Nataka kuwa mtu wa imani. Nataka kuwa mtu wa imani. And as you know, faith without action is dead. As I be a man of faith, I want to walk right and do what is right. I refuse to carry pride. I refuse to carry pride. I refuse to have an imbalanced life. I refuse to be a person serving and still struggle with immorality. Lord, may you help me. Help me, Lord. Niguze tena, niguze tena, nina omba baba, uniguze tena, niguze tena, niguze tena. Mina omba baba, uni guze tena sema di guze tena, uni guze tena. Mina omba baba, uni guze tena sema di guze. Niguze tena, mina umba baba. Niguze, uniguze tena. Niguze, niguze. Ino tumi kono mambi ya baba niguze. Niguze, guza moyo wangu, guza mafikira yangu niguze tena. Niguze tena baba. Let that be your prayers. Tell him, Father Neguse. Now mention that thing that is affecting your walk with God. Mention it to him. Oh.